Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I'd like to talk today about green tea and why I think it's such a great weight loss food. Now, the uh, weight loss ability of green tea has been attributed to its caffeine content, and this is partially true. However, there are other drinks and other foods that also contain caffeine that don't burn fat as well as green tea. Now, the reason for this is that green tea contains other compounds as well as the caffeine, uh, and this it, it increases its fat burning effects. Uh, in particular, it's known that there are two compounds in green tea. One of them is an amino acid called L-theanine, and the other is a group of chemicals called the catechins. Now, catechins and L-theanine on their own in isolation both appear to have fat burning effects. So we have three compounds in green tea. We have the catechins, we have L-theanine, and we have caffeine, and all of these compounds cause fat burning effects. However, the studies that have been done particularly on animals to investigate these fat burning effects actually show that these three chemicals have synergistic effects when they're put together. Now, what this means is that although other drinks and other foods contain caffeine, they don't contain the L-theanine and the catechins that are also present in green tea. And therefore, green tea has this synergistic effect on fat burning that you don't find in other foods. So if you compared equal amounts of coffee and equal amounts of green tea, because the coffee does not have any catechins and it doesn't contain L-theanine, only the caffeine in the coffee will actually have a fat burning effect. And therefore, the fat burning effects of coffee coffee are less than that of green tea. What I would therefore tend to suggest is that those people who are trying to lose body fat at the moment incorporate green tea as part of a high quality healthy diet as this will increase the chances of you being successful in your fat loss efforts.